And this is a new developer that I just discovered. This is a living room upright and it's a vintage upright. It's uh, got a shorter key bed, so it's not a full 88 notes. A lot of the older uh, pianos were uh, not uh, full uh, 88 notes. And one of the things that they're doing, it's not, it's uh, for the full version of Contact, but they're also gonna be bringing out a, an SFZ version uh, and then uh, a version for Logic and different uh, things. If you don't have the full version of Contact, that's gonna be something that's uh, gonna be available. Here we go. We've got three mic positions, 14 different velocity layers, seven pedal up and uh, seven pedal down. Let's pull up the snapshots and let's just go to everything on all the mics and uh, just kind of relax and take a listen to this piano. Yeah, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> there we go. We've got different release links here, and I like just to get the full, um, full release on all of these uh, sounds. Just different uh, settings to adjust the tone. You just hear how rich this is. And let's go to the mix. We've got uh, three mic positions. I'm going to turn one, I mean two and three off, and let's just listen to the player position. It is like sitting in the living room. And, and it's not perfectly in tune, but that's okay. It just gives a little personality. And the SL88 is, is really doing its thing to get those all of those velocity layers down. Yeah, just having those little imperfections make it uh, make it alive again, you know. Especially up there, yeah. And when you're doing octaves and it's a little out of tune, it just kind of gives a little bit of life. And this is just the player mic. And let's um, turn on below the keys. And each one of these channels, you have um, just more fine control over the resonances and the key release noises. Let's see. Yes, you do. You do need the full version of Contact, but like I said, they're working on a Sforzando version, which it can play in the free uh, SFZ player. Uh, so that that is something that they're working on too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Now let's look at the, uh, and then you've got mics placed at the rear of the piano. Let's just listen to those by themselves. It's just so clear.
Oh, okay. So, uh, so the lo- below the keys means the lower part of an upright. Um, okay, okay. So by the legs of the player. Okay, so yeah. So it's um, so it's like a it's it's kind of sitting behind the um, behind the player down below. So that kind of gives it. Yeah. Thanks, Eric. I appreciate that. Um, um, this is really cool because you get different tone. And so let's go to a snapshot. Uh, let's just check out a couple of these um, showcase snapshots. A classical tight. And let's just check that out. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Yeah, see. What I like about this, you hear it. You, can you hear that? You can hear it. It's 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 got a softer, but then it's then it's got this punch to it. It's just got a punch that uh, that I like. You know, Cyber, I don't know exactly the uh, the upright that was used. I know it's a they it's a, a vintage. They they said it was a vintage upright, uh, but you can tell it's just got it's just got a lot of a lot of history in there. Yeah, I don't know. It's like this. Uh... I guess it's that dynamic that's really p- punching like that. Um, so that's a class- classical tight. Um, <laughs> so let's um, let's see some more here. Um, okay, let's do um, rhythmic, concise, wider, and I, I just I just think you know, and I've. I gotta learn, you know, you've just, you see so many libraries and so many titles and there's so much to learn. And it's almost like these are just like drive-bys sometimes or just high altitude. um. And each one of these has a personality, Um, beautiful personality with what they, um, yeah. You know, Jared, it is like, uh, it's reminiscent of a saloon piano, but not, detuned to that honky tonk level where it's not it, it's they they really balanced i think between uh, how how much they allowed the uh, imperfections to remain it's just it's not just like a a real honky piano but it's it's got that character yeah this is kind of a nice I like that it can do soft, it can do soft and it can do punchy as well. It's very nice. Let's check out a a couple more of these. And uh, okay, tight, tight pop. (laughs) Okay, let's see what we've got. Yeah, we've got the, uh, we've got the player position and below the keys. Yeah, you know what? I am. Um, I'm not. Um, I'm not seeing any reverb, Barry. I think it's this is. Um, this is just coming through the through the mic positions uh, because um, let's just see. Um, okay. Okay. So we can. Um, we have a couple of settings, but you know what? Um, let's uh, turn the anti-machine gun technology on. And. Um, yeah, so that gives you it gives you some uh, 
some other things going on. Yeah, you know what? I don't see I don't see reverb here. I think we've just have this beautiful um, piano captured just the way it is, where it's just clear and uncluttered. Um, you just get it. It just sings. Let's see. Now what key? Oh. Is cool. <laughs> Let's see. Going strong now. <laughs> As for you, Cyber, it's uh, yeah, it's it's great. <laughs> oh man. Mm. Imagine Rocky running up the steps. Um, you know, getting stronger. Yeah, let's just do another one of these. Um, do the resonant max acoustics. And, uh, oh, man. Yeah, this is kind of nice. I'm going to turn down those pedal effects just a little bit. I like this. Now, listen, the thing is that I'm hearing with going through these presets and different things is you're hearing a versatility. This is a little softer. It's just got a nice, um, soft feel. job with this. Ooh, I'm hearing the bounce. I'm hearing like the key bounces on these. Uh... That's really cool. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw. Um, I'm gonna throw a. Um, I'm gonna throw some effects on here. Let's see. Uh, Valhalla. Let's see. Let's see if we can put some Valhalla on here. Let's put some super massive on here. Um, and I wanna... Now this is with super massive. Um, This is just pulling up the default super massive, and already we've got something really cool. And when I survey the wondrous cross. On which the Prince of Glory died My richest gains I count but loss 
and pour contempt on all my pride. is just a little bit of extra. And I think that's what I like about having dry library sometimes because you can do things just like this. And I am just really enjoying getting into some of Valhalla's effects. I love the shimmer verb and super massive. I've been using it a lot on things. Okay, so yeah, so Sefsha, yeah, welcome. Uh, it's good to see you. Okay, so you uh, you're just uh, it's kind of tweaking tweaking me a little bit. You know, I get now. Let's just go back to uh, let's just do this real quick. <laughs> let me um, let me drop down um, one of these um, these basics like the uh, the classical tight. Um, Yeah, this is a great. Yeah, this is a great uh, Vince Guaraldi. Uh. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, when it's uh, when it's ninety six degrees outside. Uh... Yeah, that is so fun. <laughs> and really, Charlie Brown, uh, Linus and Lucy was like one of the first things that I ever learned to play growing up. Uh, and this was like, the, uh, probably this is the first one. Boogie Woogie. Yeah, so <laughs> a lot of fun. <laughs> 